is Julia Beck and I am back with Dr. Eric Furseth and as you can see we are on the stage at Vanderpool Open Hall where they are starting to set up some of the sets for this Saturday's production of A Mall of the Night Visitors which you can see at 7.30. Um, so Dr. Furseth will be playing um, what, what role in the Amal? King Balthazar. King Balthazar. That he's the base king. Okay. Um, so, Dr. Furseth, um, thank you for meeting with me today. So, how many years have you been teaching here at Minot State? I've been teaching at Minot State since 1993, so this is my 28th, 29th year. Okay, I guess we're coming up on okay. 22, so yeah, 29th year. That is awesome. So, you've obviously played many roles in the Minot music scene mm -hmm. throughout the years. How is this one in the Amal different? Well, I just love them all. And Amal happens to be the very first role I had in, in opera or musical uh, when I was in college. And I, this is the fifth time, the fifth production I've been in of it, and I just love it every time. It's glorious, moving, uh, just it's, it's so wonderful in every way. Mm -hmm. Have you played the same role in all five productions? I have, I have, wow. yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a part that's made for me. It's a very low, bassy voice. And, and I've always had a low bassy voice, and the older I get, the lower and bassier it gets, so. <laughs> um, so, over those five times that you've performed this, how yeah. has the role changed for you, and how, have, how has your perception of it changed? Well, I might add that uh, before I taught at Minot State, I, I taught in the 1980s at Nedrow School, so I was around Minot then, too. So I was in a production in Minot in 1987, in 97, and then this year, now all these many years later. And uh, it's fairly consistent. Uh, you know, there's, there's some differences in this production. Um, and uh, I think, though, that the heart of the thing is still wonderful. I think, I, I think we've got the best production we've ever had, basically. Mm -hmm. we, we brought in uh, professionals for uh, two of the roles, and, uh, and then we have our local professionals for the others, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, dancers, and I just... Dancers, professional dancers. Yeah, professional dancers, and a, a large chorus, and of course a full orchestra. So I guess, you know, the, others, the other uh, productions all were excellent in their way. This is a bigger production. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this is one that uh, will fill up this auditorium. Yes, you, yeah. and you, you don't want to miss it because those tickets are limited, so you want to mm -hmm. hop online as soon as you can. Um, one final question for you. Um, what advice would you give to a new or aspiring musician or vocalist in our community, community that maybe is a little unsure about becoming involved in, in this music scene? Well, I'd say that's one thing about Minot is that we have a big music scene for a relatively small town. But as I often tell my students, Minot is the cultural center for a very large geographical area. Uh, and Minot State specifically is at the center of that center. Uh, there aren't all that many people in this large area, but we are the cultural center, and Minot State and Minot has always taken that very seriously. And we're always looking for enthusiastic new people to take part in it. And with the college, you know, the, especially the music department of the college leading the way, uh, there are endless opportunities. And so if you come with some aptitude and a lot of enthusiasm, uh, we've probably got a place for you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we'll really appreciate you. And there are many ways to, to get involved and to help out. And, and so uh, this is the place for me. I, I love Minot. Uh, I, just, I just think Minot is, is just a, a happening, you know, exhilarating kind of place. Yeah. What would you say have been some of the most rewarding moments for you? Well, for me, because I'm... You know, I'm a, uh, I suppose you could say a, a very avid uh, amateur, you know, or hobbyist, uh, although, you know, I have been paid many times for my services, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to be as dedicated to singing, because my uh, job is teaching literature and humanities and so on, as the professionals that we get here. And I'm very involved with Western Plains Opera, and that's one of the beauties of the opera, is bringing in professionals whose life is singing and learning these parts and they are to a person they are intelligent and dedicated and and just wonderful right down the line it's it's uh, it's uplifting to to be around 
the level of, uh, of people that we bring in for the orchestra, for, for the opera, and of course our local people are exhilarating and uplifting as well. We've got many wonderful musicians, but it really is an exciting thing to bring in these wonderful professionals from all over the country and all over the world, actually. So that's, a, yeah, that's a, yeah. It's one of the thrilling things about Western Plains Opera and the Minot Symphony. Well, I know, speaking for myself, and I'm sure many, many others, mm -hmm. we are very thankful and lucky to have you in our community. So well, thank you, Julia. Yeah, thank you so much for meeting with me yeah. today. Um, for those of you watching, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can do that by going online and visiting www.minotsymphony.com or you can reach out to Ellen in the box office and her number is 701-858-4228. Again, 701-858-4228. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you at the symphony.